saying, how have you been? Have you been, been in surgery or do anything like that today? Uh, I've, been the, I've been consulting, consulting all day. I saw a, a diabetic uh, case this morning. She's coming along well. She's uh, on, a, on a raw food diet. She's doing really well. Um, and then at lunchtime, saw a very interesting, somebody, it's a, a lovely couple came up from uh, Devon uh, with a little uh, Jack Russell Patterdale cross. And he was, he was absolutely amazing. I mean, I'm, I'm a bit of a sucker for Patterdales anyway, but um, he was absolutely amazing. And he was technically, he was allergic to pollen, as so many of them are, or so many dogs are. He yeah. was allergic to, uh, to house dust, as so many of them are, and he was allergic to food. However, when the owner got the food right, everything else sorted itself out. That's so interesting, so, isn't it? It's That's just beautiful, so isn't fascinating. it? Fascinating. To totally, totally, totally. So basically, we said, right, we're just gonna we're gonna put him on. Uh, where do we go first of all? Uh, duck. He went on to on to duck and some veggies. And the important thing was the treats because the owner was really keen to, 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 to keep treating. And yeah. so I said, listen, you can treat as much as you like within reason, but it's just got to be duck. Yeah, because she was, he was getting um, uh, cheese. What are those cheesy biscuits? You know, <laughs> you know uh, Crawford's, what are they called? The, the, the what, cheesy the cheese things. sandwich bit in the middle? No, 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 not that posh. Just cheese. You mean like called? a cream cracker? Like, the cream cheese cracker. things that I... Oh. Jacob's. No. Jacob's. Crawford's Hello. cream. Sorry. Anyway, whatever they are, whatever they are. Yeah, yeah. anyway. Uh, and, so, and then they were wondering why he got ill. You know, he'd have a gurgly tummy and he had bad poos and he'd scratch himself like mad. And oh. And so I said, guys, come on. So... Uh, he's having he's having veggies and he's having duck as a uh, as, as as treats and we're going to have a chat in a couple of weeks time and we're going to see how he goes and I'm really excited. So he was do he was still, a gem. Do you, Nick, do you still feel like that? Do you? St I mean, I think you're enthusiastic, but do you still feel? I'm not trying to say, <laughs> oh, he's so old, he's been doing this for so long, he's cut, he's lost <laughs> his spark. I don't mean that. Do uh, you still get that I, when they come in and then you I, go, wow, this has happened? Do you know what I mean? I I do. I t I tell you. Every single time that a client says, oh, yeah, Joey or, or Mandy or Sally or Toodles or whoever is doing really well, I get a little thrill. I really cheddars, do. Somebody uh, saying, mini cheddars. Cheddars? Mini cheddars. Mm. Mini cheddars. Thank you. Thank yes, you, Karen Fox Williams. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're a star. Uh, don't eat them. They're rubbish. They taste great, but they are rubbish. And definitely don't give, them to the dog. don't give them to the dog. You know, uh, mm. so, yeah. So, um, so what's the most bizarre diet? I've been waiting to ask you. What's the most bizarre diet you've ever heard someone have their dog on? Because I've got some funny ones, but go on. The most bizarre diet. Uh, well, it's 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 <laughs> it's a a brand name begins with B, actually, okay. Right, okay. <laughs> or begins with S, or. You know, it's, it's, that is, I tell you the most bizarre diet is those people, and I totally respect their position, I disagree with it, it who, who think that feeding a dog one food, one factory made canned or kibbled food for an entire dog's life, that is the strangest Diet yeah, I have yeah. Come across. Actually, I was going. I was going to say that is a bizarre thing to feed because it likes that flavour. It, it doesn't have the shits on it. It's okay. It doesn't cause a problem. So therefore, I keep it on it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And 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 yet there are no straight lines in nature. You know. They, you know. When was the last time any any uh, any any wild animal ate the same thing all year round? You know. It's no. it's, it's 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 crazy. You know, yeah. you you you, you uh, get thin during the winter. You put on weight during the summer. Uh, you eat whatever's available, and that changes with the seasons. You know, there are no straight lines, and so uh, I'm I'm forever saying to people about 
that the, the variety really is so 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 important when you're giving yeah. a, a diet yeah i think yeah, actually you so. can't see it but you're getting you're getting loads of tammy mcfadden's on carla pierce and you're getting loads and loads of love hearts coming up people agreeing with you so that's thank really you nice. so thank you, you very much um thank you my that's thing brilliant. is Appreciate my thing it. is with, with dogs food i mean I've, I've had i had um i've had two or three people feed their dogs you know the canned canned spaghetti with mini sausages right wow okay <laughs> Try and, and i don't know why is it you? <laughs> yeah i know it's crazy isn't it uh yeah the strangest things that people people have, have fed their dogs melon you ever heard dog eating melon or um yeah watermelon my no big dogs will eat watermelon definitely but that's because they're yeah. desperate <laughs> <laughs> i just did watermelon donuts i hope you're not having a pop at my video <laughs> <laughs> No, I think it's good. Well, I think well, now. a <laughs> bit of watermelon is, is is a good thing. Yeah, it's a, you know, I t and I say to people when they when they're getting treats, just get the treats where it's just dehydrated meat. Yeah, yeah? it doesn't need to be fancy. Why not? Yeah, forget yeah, I the don't dentist. Do... Forget the forget the smackos and the bonios and all that rubbish, rubbish, rubbish food. Just go no. for the real deal. You know? And a lot of these things have got oats, loads of oats in them and stuff, haven't they? Which is bizarre. Lentils yeah, and yeah, oats yeah. and all that sort of thing. That's, that, for me, that's the, one of the most bizarre things I think I can see. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm, I'm all about the eating experience. So I, I always think that, you know, a dog is a scavenger. Totally. Right? And a cat yep. will, you know, I mean, I've got Bengals. They'll go out and they'll catch, you know, squirrels, whatever. And yeah. if they're having that eating experience. And when, when I watch the Bengals, you know, I don't know I'm squeamish, but you know, first of all, they take the skin off and then they go for the luxury parts like the thighs and the legs and that. They're not really so interested in the, the head or the stomach necessarily, my lot. And they take the nice juicy bits and they tell those bits and they think, oh, they... so for me, that's an eating experience. Yeah. So I do have a problem with um, some foods and I, this is not a bash. I, I am totally for all fresh foods. I don't care if it's raw, lightly cooked, cooked. I prefer you not to cook it, a little bit less, but hey-ho, wherever we start, you know, no judgment here, um, as long as you start. <laughs> but um, sometimes, you know, I do have a problem with some of the really sloppy um, raw dog foods because I don't think it's natural for a dog to lick its dinner for the rest of its life. So yeah. as long as I think we can get some sort of experience in there, I'm happy. I'm happy with that, you know, like you say. Yeah, but if they're... Yeah, but if they're eating bones as well, then that's going to be that's going to be a lot of texture. Yeah, uh, and, a lot of people I mean, just go to completes, don't they? And they've got the bone yeah. and they're scared to give them a bone. That's a problem. Yeah, bones true. Bones are not true. scary. Bones are not bones scary. Are not I, scary. I this, and I do this thing. Joe Rosie Heffenden's popped in to say hello. Hi, Joe Rosie. Um, we one of the things as well I do is um with because I've got chihuahuas. I've got eighteen, as you do, and um they. Um, you know, some of the little ones, you know, don't do that. <laughs> you're mad. <laughs> you know what I'm thinking. I'm thinking you're mad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so what I do is I, you know, like a duck neck. So I get um, um, a, um, you know, a, a, I don't know, a mallet or something and I bash it up yeah. Yeah. for the little ones that maybe, you know, or I'm worried about. And you can start off like that. It's not so scary. Pair, oh, Karen Becker told me that one, pair of pliers. You know, hold the bone if you're really worried about it, if you're really scared. Mm. And I'm not going to do that with mine because they just eat them. But, I mean, if I can get 18 chihuahuas to eat bones, I'm sure people with bigger dogs can. I'm sure it's all right. Yeah, exactly. And I think everybody is terrified when they first start with raw and when they first start with, with bones. I mean, yeah. universally, yeah. everybody is terrified. Yeah. We're um, scared of bacteria, aren't we? We're petrified with bacteria. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, as I said, I was I was lecturing at uh, Glasgow University. I said, if bacteria are actually bad for you, I'm afraid, guys, you've got to stop snogging. You know, it's like uh, silence in the room. Yeah. No exchange of bodily fluids. Yeah, you can't do that. Completely. Anymore. That's, stop. Completely. Yeah. That's right. That's it. Yeah. That's the end of the human race yeah. because because of bacteria, it's madness. There's no there's no yeah. logic in it whatsoever. Especially when a dog goes to the park, poddles around in everybody's poo comes home, licks their feet. 
you know so yeah. the context of, of of a dog and then and they lick themselves and they lick their bums and and or so... people wear shoes indoors they wear the shoes that have been to the park all around their house it's like oh my god yeah. the house is full of bacteria <laughs> Yeah, 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 I know. It's, it is, it's, it is illogical. It's an illogical position. But now there you go. I'm really and this... excited. You, you yeah. are, gonna, you are, are you really going to do this? Are you really going to write a book about raw feeding? Yeah, I am. Yes, I am. Hang on, I'm just, I'm I just am. taking a deep breath for you. Because <laughs> that's a big, huge undertaking. Are you mad? And it is. I, yeah, quite. I must be mad. It's as mad as you. Uh, <laughs> because. It keeps growing, you know. I, I can't. I, we, um, I've got a, uh, a wonderful lady who's, who's going to be uh, helping me with the writing. So basically, I'm just going to chuck loads of information at her, and she's going to she's going to write it for me. Yeah. Um, and uh, we just keep on adding and adding and adding and adding to yeah. just to the the structure, just to the to, to the basics of the book. But you 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 said why did i uh, why am i going to write a book okay so before we started guys we did have a little chat before it's not it yeah. is slightly slightly planned not the electronics that's her problem um <laughs> so <laughs> so the reason yeah. why i want to write the book is purely selfish it's because people are are, are forever and, and now even more than than ever my, my practice i used to do horses dogs and cats and then I found I was so busy, I couldn't do, I, so I'm not doing cats anymore. And, and now I'm precious, seeing precious few horses, I'm just doing dogs. And within dogs, I'm just doing food, okay? That's, that's how, and it's not a choice, it's just the way... That, You've been squeezed into that niche, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, but I love it. And, you know, so, so I'm happy, and people who come and see me generally are happy. And so um, they keep on asking questions where that that they've 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 always wanted to know and and so i just thought my goodness there are so many people because i can only see so many people every day and mm. only speak to so many but i only do so many talks and what have you uh, which i love doing but i thought right let's write a book and to get it all down once and for all and so what i did was uh, a week ago went on to facebook and said uh, okay guys Please, could you send me questions? And if you within thirty-eight minutes, there was about two dozen questions. I oh, know, and and I, I couldn't believe it. It was just like it just you know, a massive, massive, massive list of questions, which is um, unbelievable. And so, uh, I, 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 for the last week, I've been transcribing those onto the grand scheme for the book. So I yeah, will say so right now, denominators and grouping them and all that stuff. Yeah, I yeah, understand. It's just yeah. organising it, you know. Yeah. And then, then what we'll do is we'll go through and ask questions, answer questions, answer questions, and then uh, it'll be then turned into a book. But now is the opportunity. If people have got uh, questions that that they've always had in their mind, or they've got mm. questions in their head that that they've never had a decent answer to. Or oh, they're too embarrassed to ask. We get or they're too embarrassed. too embarrassed. Yeah, people want exactly. to ask the truth. ask you. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So this is a way of anonymously. So do, so do. Just either send them to you or put them up mm -hmm. on the side. Well, can we keep a record of, of what's up on the side of the... So why don't we, why don't we use the group? Why don't, why don't yeah. we use the group as like a test batch for yourself? So why don't you... You all now have met Dr. Nick Thompson, so if you come on and you, you want to put a post up or we want to write a poll and, and we can get, you know, what are you more likely to feed, a duck neck or a chicken neck or whatever you want to put, we can do lots of that and hopefully yeah. we can help you support you with the book and um, when it comes out then everybody will feel, feel like they've been a part of it as well. That'd be amazing. And, uh, I mean, one of the most important things would be just the questions thing, Yeah. What questions mm, yeah, just have, what have not been asked, uh, uh, answered, you know? Uh, yeah, satisfactorily, and now is... because that's a problem. It's the satisfaction level of the yeah. answer. Because yeah. you may get an answer, because we know, you know, you get lots of these groups, and that's really right. We started this, well, the reason I set up this group was because I couldn't cope with the amount of questions I was getting. So I thought if yeah. I set up the group, but there's no files in this group, we're really unusual. Most other groups have all got files telling you how to get started. And what it's for is, for the, six months ago, you've got the kibble feeder now helping the new kibble feeder. 
right? So it's, it's the perpetuation of all helping each other. That's the point. Right. So we've got okay. some really experienced feeders here of, of, you know, all sorts of levels. And then we've got the people that are on kibble that are sitting on the sky sidelines who are petrified to start. And I think that's yeah. a great place to start. What's holding mm -hmm. you back? Why aren't you making that jump? What is scaring you? Yeah. Because that is, it's yeah, yeah, scared. Yeah, yeah. And that's, it's quite important to say that there's no such thing as a silly question. You know, Einstein was asking silly questions all the time. What happens if you travel at the speed of light? Oh, yeah, that's a good, good, good question, yeah, Dr. Einstein. Yeah, that's a good one to Professor work out, right. Yeah, it's, but, and, and, yeah. and so, yeah, knock yourself out. Please, please, please send me uh, any, or, or, or just say, I'd really love a book that did this, or really love a book that was easy to do this, this, and this, or obviously we're going to put an index in it, and we're going to set it out as logically as possible. Um yeah but uh uh it's and just it gonna be it, about see, lucy killick lucy killick saying so, so you can't answer it now you've got to wait to buy the book he's not going to answer any more questions <laughs> um i'm your, now your manager look <laughs> i'm yeah. sorry everybody you can't answer anything you have to buy sorry, book. Yes. Um, right i have lots of questions um she's asking about oh the bioavailability of synthetics vitamins and minerals that's a good one that's very good one. one. Yeah, so... it's I think the whole bioavailability uh, question is is really really good. Is this being recorded, Emma? Yeah. Yeah. Can, can we can we play it back so that I don't have to write down stuff? Yeah. And everybody's questions are they yeah. are they going to be recorded be as well? Brilliant. You'll be able to see them all. You'll be able to see it all. Okay. Yeah. So get all amazing. your questions in. I want to see as many questions as we can mm -hmm. on here. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. um, you'll look, you'll grab them. Anything you want to ask, just ask away. I don't care what it is. Long, long, boring question, short one, whatever you want, do it. And then we'll throw up some polls a bit later on in the week as well and ask a few other questions a bit more, you know, when we're narrowing it down a bit. I think it would be really good. That's but, amazing. Um, we're also going to do um, uh, case reports, yeah, because it's, it's a really good way to learn is, is seeing how people have, uh, how we've addressed the transformations uh, and the changes and things. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, so. that's, that's fantastic. That's really good. I wanted to ask you as well, do you think writing a book, A, you sense of no, I'm not going to say you're mad, um, but do you think with writing this book, do you think you'll feel, I don't know, how can I put it? Do you think you'll be able to say, this is a book, this is definitive, and this is going to help you on your way properly, fully. You'll be able to get up this book and you'll be able to see proof that this does work. Uh, I don't think I need to because there are, there are hundreds of thousands and even millions of people around the world who in two weeks proved to themselves that the diet, you know, going onto a fresh or raw diet is completely transformatory okay yeah so you don't yeah. need a book for that okay yes now uh if you if you want a guide then the book will be useful if you want to, uh, uh simple questions answered the book will be useful if you want complicated uh questions answered it will be useful because some people get scared when it gets too technical it's it's oh my god i can't cope with this so we're going to have to write it in such a way that for, for it's going to appeal to the beginner and to the uh, the novice person who's just you know finding their feet, but but also to the person who's been feeding raw. It's good, we're going to have to make it interesting for the person who's feeding it, who's been feeding for thirty years. Okay, mm -hmm. and they're going to have very very different questions, different levels of of, of, yeah. of questions, and it's going to appeal to all of those people. It's going to be able to. Um, Crossover because yeah, I, and it's going to be as complete as possible. Yeah, because I find a lot of things that people want to know. They, you know, they want to know pancreatitis, the yeasty dog, or 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 maybe more serious, the dog with cancer, or the. It is it's usually an Ill, illness related. But for me, that for me, what I think is really important, and something I'm really passionate about, passionate mm. about, is you know the diet. If you are going to desex your dog, what what. I, you know, I put dogs on a lovely diet before that happens and afterwards to support them. You know, yeah. what happens to the hormones? What happens when those hormones are ripped out of the body and they, yeah. they're just left to dangle? Can we support them? You know, those for me, yeah. they're the things yeah. I think are really lacking. The aging dog, 
you know yeah. we, we don't look at them always we, we are this is what i said you know i wrote a blog like in 2014 or something why do we always turn to fresh food diet when our dogs get ill quite quite yeah 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 it's it's um it is it, it's bizarre that well it's 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 that whole thing there's never an atheist on a sinking ship yeah, yeah. it's everybody you know, they just trundle along and go, oh, well, the dog looks all right. And then, oh, my goodness, the dog's got X. I need to change the diet. Okay? Yeah. So yeah. It, why wait until you're sick to change the diet? Why not do it when you're fit and healthy and vibrant and lively and, and what have you? That's the yeah. time to do it. Definitely, that, that is the yeah. time to do it. So um, uh, also, some people, uh, as soon as the dog gets ill, they then go to – they 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 – you know, kidney disease, they go on a KD, liver disease, they'll go on a hepatic diet. Don't do that. The dog don't, just you, don't do that shit. I've told you loads of times, don't <laughs> take that shit for your dog. If it's got any problems, come and speak to somebody who knows what they're doing because that is not cool. Don't take that stuff. I've told you about a hundred times. If I catch any of you doing it again, there's 26,000 of you nearly on it, don't do it. Otherwise I get cross. Sorry. Yeah. Come on. Quite. But it's, it's illogical, isn't it, to... To, to, to go from real food, when you get ill, then you go on to processed food. Well, it's you know, a, you know it's, there's no moisture in the food and you've got a kidney issue. Why would you then do... I, I just, my head just doesn't understand this bit. Um, I are, know, you I know. are you cookist, Nick? No, I'm not. No, no. Not. As long as you are stay we, away from the kibble here? and the tins, then I'm good. I'm good with that. I'm not. Uh, yeah, as... as, as, as as long as you stay away from the kibble and the tins, then I'm okay with it. Yeah? All right. I think See, you like heard cooking, it. See? He heard it. Yeah. High five. Light cooking, light cooking is better than, yeah. you know, it's like my granny used to just cook everything to death. God bless her. She was a very good yeah. cook yeah. in the old style. But we now know that, that cooking kills food, doesn't it? So yeah. just go yeah. lightly, yeah. just to, just to tenderise it, break it down a tiny bit. So my, and... my motto is don't, you know, don't need to kill it's already dead you don't need to kill it again yeah you don't need to kill it yeah and you definitely don't need yeah. to cremate it yeah. Yeah. yeah so i wanted to ask you what um just one sort of final question and you've got to come back yeah. on again because you've been brilliant what, I'd love to. Thank you. um i want to know why didn't you just choose the easy life and just be an ordinary <laughs> a vets are fantastic right <laughs> i can't say Look, I, I am never going to bash a bear because you study hard. You take, you make sacrifices. You come out, you 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 come out of university with, with with a ridiculous debt if you're starting now. You know, my youngest is is um at Brighton Uni to um he's studying applied psychology. He wants he yeah. thought about the vet and he went, oh no, because of the debt I'm going to come out with, it's just too long. And uh, he really thought about it, and it's interesting, isn't it? So why didn't you choose the easy life and just be? You know, a bit. be a regular vet. Yeah, I couldn't live with myself. Yeah, with respect to you know the, 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 my my, my con conventional colleagues, that's their choice, and and uh, so uh, 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 that is their choice. But f from where, from my, philosophically, uh, but but just from the way that I like to uh, uh, look after my own health and right. and. Uh, the way I the way I think about health, um, I couldn't do it. I actually have nightmares. I actually probably about about once every six months, I will I ha I will have a nightmare that I'm back in conventional practice, and uh, and, and 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 there's nothing you can do. You're like trapped. Is it, oh no, that would be yeah yeah. Again, I'm, I'm not bringing. You know, I'm not I'm not trying to say they're doing wrong it's just i would not be able to do that type of practice and in fact we do need our conventional vets you know if the dog gets run over uh the dog's uh, bleeding gets cut or whatever it is you need conventional medicine and conventional medicine is great especially with acute problems yeah yes uh, but we're looking at to not to get to that stage legs. right exactly but what happens when you've got chronic disease and there's more and more chronic disease these days? Obesity, itch, bad gut, uh, behavioural issues, these kind of things. Inflammation. Yeah. Inflammation. We're, we're not as proficient, and I think most vets would, would, would agree, 
we are not as as proficient at getting on top of those things. You can suppress them. Yeah, itchy dog, apoquil, uh, bad gut, um, uh, metrobactin, you know. But is that getting to the, the, the real heart of the, the disease? And so for me, the, the, the ideal is that we have good, great conventional vets doing their thing, but we have people like me offering an alternative set of, of uh, uh, fields, homeopathy, acupuncture, nutrition, herbal medicine, such that that's a complement, yeah. but, but, but they complement us as much as we complement them. Um, and we try and yeah. reduce the drugs. You know, it just stands to reason. We try and reduce the drugs. Um, I think we, you know, we, we use dramatic amounts of flea product and we use loads and loads of um, worm, worm products that, that perhaps we could, we could use less and less and less. Uh, food is not taught well at vet colleges. That needs, that needs to be improved. So I think veterinary medicine is kind of coming of age and the, the embracing holistic medicine, which more and more vets are, I'm pleased mm. to say, is a really brilliant thing. And um, yeah, I think the future is looking really, really rosy. And, yeah. um, um, you know, and food is, is, the, is the foundation of all of that stuff. Yeah, yeah. If you, I mean, you, if you, you set up thousands and thousands of pounds fixing a dog, and then you just put yeah. it onto, you know, some rubbish food. What's the point? What's the yeah. point? Well, Why not? Why yeah, not? this is what I keep saying. It's, it's, it's long life, dead, inorganic. It doesn't make sense. It's the the reason. Yeah, now I know you're raw, and I know you like the word raw, but you know it's taken me a long time to get people to try and switch the word from raw to fresh. The reason is, is because when I my vet, I've been with her like 11, 12 years from, she came straight out of vet school and she was the young newbie, all the rest of it. And she's been with me ever since. She's, she is open-minded and we discuss everything that happens. She's, she's fantastic. Yeah. For me, she's absolutely brilliant. She works. And I said, oh no, we're not doing that. And she said, oh no, don't give him that. And you know, all this while, while she worked in a practice where it's 45 pounds a month for the flea tick and worming and the food, bag of food and all the rest of it. Um, and, I said to her, you know, if I come in and say raw, and I said this the other day, she, you're freaking out. You're going, stock bones, Campylobacter, salmonella. That's in their head. That's what they, they think. But if I come yeah. in and I say, I'm feeding my dog fresh food, a fresh whole living foods diet, how are you going to argue with that? Mm. How are you going to argue? Because, you know, raw got itself a bad name in some way. Because they get, you know, they, it's very militant in some ways. The raw feeding groups used to be so tough. I couldn't say... I cooked some scrambled egg once. They'd have me out. It's changed a lot. You yeah, know, I, I think we need to be inclusive. I think I think that we should be inclusive. I think, uh, uh, given a choice, I would always go raw. Uh, yes. But there's some some dogs who can't who can't tolerate raw, and so lightly cooked, great, absolutely great. Some people yeah. don't want to go raw, so lightly cooked, absolutely great. I'm absolutely happy with that. But the ideal yeah. is to yeah. feed them what they've been eating for the last thousand what generations. Is yeah, yeah. You know. Not what is, I mean, uh, uh, to feed a dog a dead, inorganic, you know, moisture depleted food is not making yeah. sense. You're feeding them a long life food. That, yeah. That's the issue. And therefore, we're getting health issues. Yes, fleas are going to be more attracted to those dogs with a weaker immune system. And it, it, it's a snowball, isn't it? For really? sure, for sure. And I mean, look at obesity. It's at sort of 60, 70 percent. But obesity is a disease. The BSAVA have just announced their their statement on uh, on obesity, and they're saying it's a, it is a chronic disease, which means sixty or seventy percent of the dogs out in the general in the general population are diseased. You know, and uh, and that's food. You know, that's an epidemic, uh, isn't it? <laughs> primarily, that's that is a food issue, uh, which needs to be addressed. And yeah. the conventional approach finds it difficult to deal with. Uh, the raw feeders, the fresh feeders, find it much more easy to get on top of. Yeah, without a doubt. Yeah, but look, you've been amazing. Um, get all your questions in. So I'm just going to say again, um, Dr. Nick. Please Tanks, do. Yeah, book, please do. Please. Crazy, yeah, yeah. crazy man on raw feeding. <laughs> and um, you might get a little bit of, you know, you never know, you might talk about scrambled eggs or something, you never know. Um, so what I'm saying is, so get your questions in, 
underneath here and you look out as well there'll be a few polls and a few questions being asked and hopefully you can um help with a few questions and bits and bobs as you and yeah, update us as well yeah. let's, you know let's know how you're getting on you've got to come back sure Andrew. for sure it's been absolutely awesome let's have a let's, i will give you every quarter we'll have a little little roundup of how it's going uh how many times i've had banged yeah. my head on the on the on the wall uh the good bits the bad bits um and you know so, sooner or later we'll have a a, 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 a launch date i think it's going to be a year i was thinking maybe by christmas but it's just it's growing every day it's, it's growing mama. but that's it's exciting mama. it's 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 but it's really it's uh i'm still i'm still really excited about it so please do please guys send in uh, any questions and i will do my very best to uh, to address those uh, as intelligently as possible. I think you're the man to do it. I, th I think you're bless the man you. for the job. Bless, so. you. bless you. Bless you. All right. Well, let, well it's going to be fun. Because you and... you've had a long day. Yeah. Go on. Not Sorry. at all. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much for having me Look on. Look after yourself. Uh, say hi to Keep everybody. To <laughs> Keep up the good work. Thank you so much, Emma. And you Be Keep fresh. up the good work. Yeah. Feed fresh. Absolutely, go for it. How do, how do I stop this machine now? Do I just come out of... I'll do it, I'll do it. Bye, Nick. Are Bye. You